Hey everybody, uh, so in today's video I want to talk about one of the new Ionic components called Skeleton Text. And this was just released in the newest release of Ionic, Ionic 4.1. And it's a really interesting component which uh, I've been using for a while. Uh, I used to just create my own custom uh, component to implement this effect. And it's actually something that I covered quite a lot in my Elite Ionic course, which I'll link that below if you want to check that out. Uh, but I'll just try and give you a brief sort of quick overview of the point of this uh, component in this video. And basically it has a lot to do with uh, something called perceived performance. And so I've got a little bit of a example set up here to demonstrate what I mean by that. Because uh, I think it's easier to uh, demonstrate it than try to explain it with words. So uh, the basic concept is that it makes your application feel faster without actually being faster. So the example I have up on screen now is just uh, just a normal sort of list with uh, five items. Uh, but what I've done is I've set this up to simulate uh, loading in this data from a server. So if we take a look at the code for this, uh, what I'm doing is I've just got a set timeout in the ng on init, and that's just loading this data after one and a half seconds. So we're basically just trying to simulate making a call to some server that data loads in. Uh, so we're just trying to create that kind of, uh, I guess a situation where there's unavoidable load time. You know, there's nothing we can do about this 1.5 seconds. Obviously, uh, our first point of call should be to try and make this actually load faster. But let's just say our call takes 1.5 seconds to load that data in. There's nothing we can do about that. So if we take a look at the application now, if I just refresh this, you'll see that the data loads in. First, we have uh, the blank screen there, and then eventually that data just pops in. Now this isn't the ideal situation because uh, it kind of might leave you wondering, especially when you load this, it's just a blank screen and there's kind of that initial sort of feeling of confusion perhaps or uh, concern in your mind. You're like, is this application doing anything? Like what's going on? Why is it blank? Uh, and then the uh, content will just pop in out of nowhere. So it's not the best experience here. So what I've done is I've prepared a couple of examples to check out. And so first we're just going to use a normal ion spinner instead of the new skeleton text component, just to see how we can reduce the impact of that uh, load time by improving our perceived performance. So I have a spinner set up here. So what I'm going to do is uncomment this. And the way I've set it up is basically if uh, there's no items loaded in currently, this is going to display. And as soon as there is items loaded in and this condition uh, fails, it's going to uh, remove that. Okay, so I have the application up again now with the ion spinner. And now if I just refresh this again, as the content's loading in, you can see we have that spinner now uh, just spinning and loading there. And so this is uh, better than the last situation. It's still not um, perfect, but uh, when we're loading data, we can see something's happening just by that spinner being there. If I open this application, I know something's happening and I've got to wait for something to load. And so rather than perhaps assuming that the application's frozen or something's not working right, I can see something's loading in, you know, something's going to pop up soon. And so this provides a better experience than the last example we looked at. But what I think is the best option here is to use the skeleton text component. And now that Ionic just provides this by uh, default, it's really easy to do. And so the basic idea behind using the skeleton text is that we will have uh, kind of like how we have with the spinner when content is loading in, we're going to display a little animation. But the difference is that this skeleton text will mimic what our content will actually look like when it's loaded in. So it kind of helps ease the transition between there being no content and the content being loaded in. So again, let's just take a look at that. We'll get rid of the uh, spinner we just added, and instead we'll take a look at this skeleton text. And I'll talk through this a little bit more in a second, but let's first just have a look at uh, what it looks like. Okay, so if I refresh the application now, you can see the skeleton text popping in there. And if uh, you probably would be familiar with this uh, skeleton text style, uh, Facebook, for example, uses it uh, for their news feed. And so we're just mimicking the content that will eventually be loaded in with this just fake animated bars essentially. And by using this, the second we load the application, there's something happening on the screen and it feels like content is being pulled in, even though this has nothing to do with the content that's getting pulled in from the server. It feels like, you know, we're making progress, uh, things are loading in 
and when it does transition to the actual content being loaded, there's no big change or popping in of content. It just transitions to the actual content, which looks very similar to the uh, sort of placeholder that we're, that we're using there. And so implementing this is uh, actually quite easy now. As I mentioned in my Elite Ionic course, we uh, have been just creating this component ourselves, where we implement this animation, uh, which is still a good exercise in itself to sort of build something uh, like this on your own. But uh, with the Ion Skeleton Text component now, literally all we need to do is just drop this uh, into our page here. So basically what we would do is just uh, recreate the structure of whatever it is we're loading in. So in this case, uh, we just have an item with an avatar and we got sort of heading and two paragraphs. And so the more we can make our skeleton text look like that, the better. So in our placeholder here, which again is only being loaded if there's no items uh, currently loaded in. Again, we just set up the avatar, we set up the, the heading tag, the two paragraphs, and in each of those, we just put an ion skeleton text. And we also supply it with the animated attribute here to you know, display that animation. And then in the case of the uh, ones we're using for the content here, we can just give that a style of various width to sort of uh, simulate uh, content of varying width. So as you can see, uh, you know, here, this first line's a bit shorter than the second line. And so we can try and mimic that. Uh, actually, I put that backwards, should probably change that. Uh, we'll change that to 60 and that to 80. So now we've got that second line being shorter than the third line. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I guess you just kind of want to make it look a bit natural and interesting. If this is dynamic content you're loading in, it's probably not going to be all the same anyway. So uh, it doesn't matter too much, but uh, we just try and create something that looks natural, looks similar to our content that we're loading in. And that's just going to really help ease that transition as it loads. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this makes zero impact on actual performance. Uh, the data here is still loading in at 1.5 seconds, whether or not we have any kind of visual indicator of loading, it still loads in the same speed, but this provides a much better user experience. Not only does it indicate to the user that something is loading in immediately, but it also just makes it feel like it's loading faster. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.